Next question is from Connie Chiwa. Similar to mini cuts, can I alternate short periods of HIIT training with more traditional res resistance training sessions to keep my body from adapting to the intensity of HIIT over time? How frequently would you rotate HIIT training through your programming? Yeah, it's a good question, yeah. and I know it's popping up. hello, Doug? Connie Chiwa? Yeah, yeah. I said it wrong, though. Sorry. Uh, uh, I know this is coming up because we have, uh, you know, MAPS hit is is half off. So we're getting a lot of questions around high-intensity interval training. And also because high-intensity interval training is very popular for uh, fat burn or for calorie burn. Um, in a 25-minute hit session or 20-minute se hit session, you're going to burn as many calories as you would with a 50-minute you know, traditional resistance training session or our resistance training session or an hour of, of steady state cardio. It's just very effective uh, at burning lots of calories and it's a great fat burning method of training. So a lot of people are asking questions about this and they're worried about the adaptation that happens from HIT. You can definitely alternate HIT with traditional strength training, but we, I mean, I tend to make the argument that it's better to stay in one, get good at it, and then move to something else. Now, our program maps hits about six weeks long. I think you can focus on hit training from anywhere between three to six or seven weeks, and then probably a good idea to move out and try another you know, form of training. But let's say you want to do hit all the time. Mm. Can you throw hit in occasionally um, to get those calorie burning effects? Absolutely. You definitely can. I would not recommend doing hit. It depends on the person, but I wouldn't recommend doing hit more than once or twice a week. Um, in in place of other traditional resistance training uh, type, uh, you know, workouts. I, you know, it, and here's the thing that's cool about this. I, I don't think there's a, a right or a wrong answer in this situation. Like, uh, you know, the the key that you just need to remember is that any any type of type of modality of training, right? Your body eventually gets adapted to it, and you need to move out of it. That's the key. Is like, and the the main people I want to communicate this to are the ones that gravitate to this train. They love this train. I mean, we waited to release a program like this for as long as we did because we know that we know that a lot of people love this short, fast, harder like this, and I sweat more. I feel like, and so they tend clients tend to gravitate towards the circuit training because they feel like it's more beneficial because and and all the research that talks about the fat burning benefits like Sal's talking about. So I, I first want to caution those people. Like if if you love it like that, you know, don't do it longer than about six weeks. Phase out of it and completely go into something else. Now, personally, if you have a really good relationship with understanding like we, how you should move in and out of modalities and not stick to a type of training for too long, if you already understand that really well, I personally like to use hit when it's when it's necessary. Meaning. Today, I have a crazy amount of calls back to back, and there's a window where I have about 45 minutes, like, and that's like literally from you know us doing something here and then this other call. And so it's like I will definitely can't get a full hour workout to get ready for my workout. It's probably gonna take 10, 15 minutes to do my mobility stuff. Shit, that means I only got about 30 minutes. Great time to do like a hit mm -hmm. if I'm gonna train. If that's gonna be my window of training today, I would adjust like, and I, what I should be doing or what I'm scheduled for is a more maps anabolic. That's I'm following a, a routine like that right now. So I should be doing like a full body hour, good hour long routine. I just, I may not do that. If I do that at that time block, I don't have it. So this is a perfect time for me to intermittently throw in a workout from like the HIIT program. Mm -hmm. That's how I like to use it personally. But it, it doesn't mean that it's the better way. It just means that that's kind of how I like to use it is it makes sense when I don't always have an hour yeah. or two hour window, you know? It's kind of funny, like how it shifted now. Like, I, I mean, I used to gravitate towards HIIT training quite a bit uh, and mainly in the off season, uh, like going back into to playing sports. But now I look at HIIT training as like my sport. <laughs> and it's it's mainly because I I enjoy moving my body, you know, ferociously and like being able to still have athleticism. Uh, so I like to throw it in there like probably more frequently now than I did, you know, before that. But still, I'm still uh, leaning hard on my strength training and then also my mobility practices to reinforce, you know, the the stability of my joints and everything's in check, uh, which is something that you just need to constantly consider that and check in on, you know, the quality of your 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 joints and are you able to, to 
you know, support your body in these, because this, this is more intensity. This is more uh, stress that your body's, uh, you know, going to go through, like with, with the impact of these types of workouts. So if you keep that in mind and it's something that you really enjoy, there is a way that you can incorporate it more frequently. You just have to be able to know how to weave in and out because you will get adapted. You will, your body will not benefit as, as greatly from it uh, as you would initially. 